today we've got one of the Crusaders' newest signing, Carl Ashall. How are you doing, Carl? I'm great, mate. How are you finding the Crusaders? Enjoying it, pal. Going really well. Uh, Who's your most favourite player? Uh, probably that Stu Reading. Probably. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Battle of the Ashes. I don't know if you've read the Wrexham Raider, but the uh, paper's been laying up like, who's the toughest Ashall? Who's the best looking? Who's the best passer? Who's hardest you and your brother? Uh, me. Ooh. Hands down. Who's longest in the shower? Um, depends what you mean by longest. Longest as in... Oh, long both. Long answer long both questions. Longest in the shower. I'm longest in shower. Long... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the better passer of the ball? Left to right? Me. Right to left? Me. What is Craig good at? Defending. Defending. Yeah. Is it is a defence man, of course. Is and, and morning. And morning. It's really well at morning. Really well at morning. Um, tough game at the weekend. Tough game at the weekend. Thirty-six uh, six. Crusaders. Uh, oh, whew, first home defeat for a while. Obviously, come up, step up, stepped up in standard with the leagues. Um, things to work on for next week. Um. Just be a bit more consistent in our game plan, I reckon. Uh, less errors. Um, I think we did really well for stay with them for as long as we did, considering how much possession they had. But we give them too much cheap possession, and ultimately that'll kill us against any team. But especially your top boys like Fev, Lee, Halifax, you know, they, they'll punish you later on in a the game. They'll just keep doing what they want to do to you, uh, and then make you pay the price when you're tired. Yeah, defensively, I thought we were really strong in the first side, but like you said, it, they wore us down. Yeah. No team, no team can defend for as long as we did, uh, no matter how good or how fit you are. I think if we'd have done the same thing to Fev, I think they'd have broken. We'd have probably beat them, but um, I think we've got to be really proud with what we did, but uh, we can be better. What did Clive say to the troops at half-time? Um, well, we didn't really get much of a roast in. It, it was pretty calm, really. We, we knew what we was doing wrong and what we had to do better. Um, it was just about going out in second half and being more enthusiastic than them because we knew they were going to come out with a rocket up the backside and uh, we didn't do that basically, we didn't do that, we left it all in changing rooms and a um, few poor performances including myself you know, didn't help the team and um, just punished us This is Crusaders TV and here we have one of the new players today, David Mills obviously David's really tall so we're going to have to lean up today Tough game in the weekend, David, 36-6. Uh, thoughts on the game? Yeah, it was a tough game. I thought we uh, showed up pretty well first half, but Featherston showed their class second half and uh, managed to throw the ball about a bit and th run a through few tries in, but plenty of positive to take from the game. How do you cope with life being so tall? Well, you know, it's, it's hard. Just going through a normal door can cause me problems. Uh, obviously, I have trouble getting pants. But, uh, yeah, it's just uh, something I've got to deal with day to day. Obviously, at half-time, must have been uh, quite a positive team talk, being 6-6. What did Clive say to uh, G up the troops, so to speak? He just said, go out there and keep doing what we're doing. But uh, sadly, Featherston came out a bit more fired up. And uh, like I say, threw the ball about a bit, turned the Harlem Globetrotters on, and uh, we didn't have much to answer to it. So uh, too, we, we couldn't do, really do that much defending and come away with the win. So uh, it was a good performance by Featherston, really. What's your opinion on uh, Toby Adamson's offloads? Yay or nay? <laughs> um, I'd say out of this world, really. Pretty impressed with him. Toby, you're amazing. You're amazing, Toby. Uh, obviously, it's quite tough getting size 20 shoes from the UK. So where do you order your shoes from? Usually the local boat yard help me out pretty much. Uh, got a bit of a deal going with them, so uh, I'd like to give them a big shout out. A couple of the crew fans have been getting a little chant going when me and you were playing together. I'm small, you're tall, together we do it all. What do you think about that? I love that. I love the way it sounds. Just runs off the tongue, really. You're small, I'm tall, together we do it all. Peace. <laughs>